Now, in this video, we will going to uh, discuss about one more problem on projections of points. So, this is here a point capital A is 40 mm in front of VP and is situated in the fourth quadrant. Its shortest distance from the intersection of XY and X1, Y1 is 45 mm. Draw its projections also find its distance from H. So, to do that, now we will consider the fourth quadrant. Point capital A is 40 mm in front of VB and is situated in the fourth quadrant. In the fourth quadrant, you have the horizontal plane here and the vertical plane is here. And as we look from the front view, so as we look from the front view here this is the front view from where I am looking at so this is the front view and what happens the distance below HP is seen as we see the distance below HP since the front view is perpendicular to the vertical plane the image will going to fall on the vertical plane the distance from small a to capital A is that distance is the one which you are going to get here. So then that is the one which I need to find out. And as we look from the top view, so here this is the top view wherein I can be able to see the distance which is in front of VP. This is the distance what we are talking about from A dash to capital A. So this distance as you look from the top view, since the top view is perpendicular to the horizontal plane, so the image will go to fall on HP. So this is small a. As he has not given any distance with respect to the profile plane, and he says since it is the shortest distance, so this is the shortest distance from the intersection of XY and X1, Y1 is 45 mm. So that means if you look from the side view, so this is the one which we are talking about. So in this case, he says it is the left side view. As he says it is the uh, LPP, since it is on LPP, obviously I should look from the right side view. So this is the one which we are talking about, which is RSV. As we look from the right side view, we can see the distance below HP and also we can see the distance in front of VP. But which will going to be the shorter distance? The shorter distance from A dash to small a. So this is the shortest distance what we are talking about. So this distance is seen from here to here. So this is the radius what we are talking about. So in such a case that means what we are getting is this will going to be the shortest distance from the intersection point. So that is from here to here. So this is the shortest distance which is the radius 45. As we look from the right side view, since it is perpendicular to LPP, obviously we can see the distance here. So this is the distance. And so once you get this distance, so we got the A double dash. A double dash we will be able to get it from here. As he has given the 40 mm in front of VP, in front of VP is seen in HP. So once you get this, so you will going to get this distance. And when you project this, and here when you project this, it will going to come on to this. Then from here, we will going to take up this distance. And as we see here, so since we, since we, it is the top view, always the below HP, uh, always the top view, uh, always the front view and the side view both will going to be on the same line. So to do that, we will going to cut it from here on this particular vertical projector. So that means you are going to get the radius 45. Thereby, you will be able to get the below HP distance here. Once you get this distance, so automatically we will going to come to know what is the distance from here to here which will going to be the in front of VP. So that is how we will be able to analyze and since we don't know what is the uh, distance with respect to the profile plane, so we can take whatever the distance we want 
so that is the reason why we have written that is any distance now when you see the step 2 so that means when you are cutting it here and this is the uh, cut portion this is what we are on trying to cut here and rotate this horizontal plane which is in this direction and also this in this direction and LPP towards the left side and that is from here to here so what happens both VP and HP will be overlapping both VP and HP will be overlapping and LPP will be aligned with the vertical plane so hence LPP will be going to be aligned with the vertical plane since the, since the planes are being rotated naturally the image which will go to falls on HP and also on VP and LPP is also being get rotated so as we know that the distance with respect to the profile plane is not given so we can take any distance and we will going to get this particular line once you get this then we know that distance in front of VP is 40 mm so in front of VP is seen in the horizontal plane so as the image is on the horizontal plane therefore that is the one which is going to be being rotated so you are going to have the HP in bracket of course when you are doing it in orthographic view we are going to write that so as we know the distance uh, with respect to the VP is seen in HP since the image is in HP so obviously this will going to be the top view so you measure the distance from here to here which is small a which is 40 because as HP is rotated and this line and this line will be getting overlapped that is what we have shown here so once you get that you take the top view point on to this end and from here you draw a 45 degree line so that you will going to get this point so then what happens in front of VP which is vertical here has been transformed as the horizontal distance here then you draw a vertical projector from here downwards and you measure the distance of uh, 45 mm the intersection of xy and x1 y1 which is the intersection of xy and x1 y1 this is xy this line is xy okay and this one will be x1 y1 this will be x1 and then y1 so once you get this through this you measure a radius of 45 cut an arc on the vertical projector you will going to get a double dash then you project this line directly onto this line wherein it will go to cut the at this particular point you mark that point as a dash then you write it as l is equal to question mark because we need to find out what is the distance with respect to hp so that is the one which is below hp so this line is the one which we are trying to find out wherein l is equal to question mark this is the one what we will go to find this is how you will be able to analyze this drawing and the value of l and the value of l what we have here is 20.62 so that is the one which will going to be measured that is this distance is the one which will going to measure here now how to transform this into a two dimensional sketch so as we rotate and uh, this is the one as we rotate here this is the xy and this is the xy and y1 line that's what we have written here this is x and this is y okay so once you get this and this is x1 and this is y1 okay now we will going to take this first we are going to draw the xy line and x1 y1 line how to draw it by using the sketchbook so first we are going to identify the planes they identify the planes because vp and hp is overlapping so vp and hp is overlapping below the xy line and here this should be lpp so this is lpp here l so this is lpp this is the one instead of rpp it should be lpp because we are considering the lpp here once you do that now you know the distance with respect to uh, lpp is not given so you can take any distance and draw a vertical projector 
and then you measure the distance of 40 mm which is in front of VP and from this point you measure that and you mark this point. Since the image is on, since the image is in front of VP, so the image will going to fall on HP. Since the image is on HP, so obviously that line, that point will going to be the top view. Then draw a 45 degree line adjacent to HP. Then draw a 45 degree line adjacent to HP. Since HP is below x y line, so the 45 degree also below x y line. Then project the top view point onto 45 degree line. You will going to get this point. Then draw a vertical projector from here to the top uh, towards the x y line, and then you measure the distance of 45 with uh, this as center. Take a radius of 45 and draw an arc such that it will go into curves this vertical projector here and you mark this point as P double dash then project this as shown in this direction and then from here you draw a horizontal projector to the vertical plane which shows the direction from left to right and it will go into intersect this vertical projector here and you mark this point as P dash then show the dimension of 40 and then the radius 45 and here L is equal to question mark and this distance as any distance then by using the by using the scale you measure the distance from this point to this point which will going to be 21 mm since we are doing it in computer the value of L will be equal to 20.62 mm which can be measured up to the second decimal point so this is how you will be able to Analyze this uh, shortest distance in the fourth quadrant. Thank you very much.